In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Join Apostle John Udo today as he teaches the Word that was with God and is now with us for our transformation. Apostle John Udo, worth hearing. <laughs> When you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. So, when you see me dance, I dance like a winner man. And when you see me pray, I pray like a winner man. So, when you see me pray, I pray like a winner man. So, Jesus. Wave your hands unto the Lord this morning. Wave your hands to the Lord this morning. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we magnify you. There is no one like unto you. Thank you for all that you have done. Thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for the things you will yet do. You are the same yesterday. You are the same today. You are the same forever. Thank you for the amazing, amazing things you will do today. We give you the praise. Can you give him thanks for what he will do today in your life? I want you to give him thanks. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Say, Lord, I thank you for what you are doing today in my life. Jacob, Bakurade, Soke, Chandra, Boso, Prehitos. Lord, I thank you for what you are doing in my life. I want you to thank him specifically right now for what he is going to do in your life today. Because the Lord will do great things. Makumsha trebatika ya Yakata korabaha Paraka kato selegregede Barabara kuto selegrendes Ratata kole bregede kele kalakala bregede de shi abraham rekosundre Kaleandredos Kaleandredos O man sato pole brebe sotto le bebe shikaya le gedei te cura masate le brido sopra ditos aia da balatanda la barebe sentes secretos e la cava sotto i anda la basinda le bahar le katata thank him thank him thank him re cavolo she bahar Father, we give you the praise. Let's have our seat in the presence of God. Today, like you already know, we will be unleashing angelic workers to swing into action on our behalf to take over our battles 
and to do what they know best to do. All true scriptures you readily and quickly find out that whenever God wanted to do some mighty things maybe against enemies to strike enemies to destroy enemies to bring a new order into the earth to bring vital information to the world he would always engage the ministry of angels angels are his ministering spirits that he uses to carry out his beatings in all true scriptures we see mighty and powerful things that were done by angels and today we're going to be engaging the ministry of these angels specifically the warrior angels the angel of war and his host there are different kinds of angels there are angels that deliver messages like angel Gabriel who brought the message to Zechariah about the conception of John the Baptist and brought the message also to Mary about the conception of Jesus Christ angel Michael is the topmost in that category that delivers vital messages from God but apart from the messaging angels that bring messages from God there are the warrior angels that is headed by Archangel Michael and you see a typical example in the story of Daniel in the Bible and Gabriel brought a message for him but the prince of Pasha, Pasha blocked the message and for 21 days angel Gabriel could not pass through until reinforcement was sent and angel Michael the angel of war came because it was a battle and Michael is crafted for the battles of the almighty and it was until angel michael arrived before angel gabriel would continue to go and deliver the message there are a lot of us we have prayed and prayed through and the messages and the blessings have been released from heaven but somehow it has not gotten to you yet that is why we are here today we are going to activate the ministry of the warrior angels that will make sure that will ensure that the ministry of the other angels in your life gets true to you many have gotten breakthroughs in the spirit realm one year ago but somehow you can't see it manifesting some of you you pray and in your spirit you know it is done in fact you hear god say to you this matter is settled but then in the physical you have not seen the evidence of what heaven tells you has been settled and god cannot lie if god says it is settled it means it is settled so it could very well be that in heaven it has been settled it has been released like in the case of daniel but somewhere along the way between the heavenlies it's been blocked and just like daniel did he prayed until a warrior angel and his host came and allowed for what he was expecting to come true to him in the same way we are going to pray today and warrior angels are going to be released and as they are released and they take on the adversaries the principalities the powers the rulers of the darkness of this world the spiritual wickedness in high places as they take on them every other blessing that the angels are supposed to deliver to you that have not been delivered 
today you will receive them. Can I hear your bigger amen? amen? I said today you will receive them. Amen. Every ministering spirit that has something from God for you. Every angel that has something from God for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I decree they receive help to bring those things to you. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Oh, thank you, my father. I want us to specifically right now thank God for the ministry of warrior angels. Go ahead and thank him for that before we begin to pray. Lord, I thank you for the ministry of warrior angels. Shatta Kabbalah, because we are about to engage their ministry right now. Zeprokus Inglatro Son Rekete Sudavarate. Lord, I thank you for the ministry of warrior angels. Ze Sham Parodus Ingleto Korabasika. Mesedeba letre kotonso shiko banandres ille deba takaraba suke shikla brende supaha. Oh Lord, I thank you for the ministry of warrior angels. Warrior angels swinging into action on my behalf. Let the basaka the cross the keleha. Ille ke de ke tele broko to sikla prendo sombre hi ke prendo sapai. Oh la broko to sombre sombre ke te ke le prendo soya ha. In Jesus name we pray. Psalm chapter one o three from verse twenty. Bless the Lord. Ye his angels that excel in strength. Hallelujah. One of the first things you realize at the encounter with an angel is that these angels excel in strength. What does that mean? They are extremely powerful. They are extremely powerful. And that is why oftentimes when angels literally appear to people, they have to tell you not to be afraid. If you go through the Bible, you will see whenever they appear, they will say, fear not. Because there is no way you will see them and not be afraid of them. They are so, so powerful. The Bible says, bless the Lord. Ye his angels that excel in strength, that do the commandments of the Lord, hearkening unto the voice of his word. This is very important. This is one way to activate the ministry of angels by engaging the word of the Lord. The Bible says what the angels do is that they pay attention and obey the voice of the word of the Lord. And so when you and I pray from the word of the Lord, when we pray according to the will of the Lord, which amounts to the word of the Lord, the angels are paying attention to those words. They hearken to the voice of his word and obey his commandments. So when you take the commandments of the Lord and turn it into your prayers, the angels do not know whether it is God that is speaking or whether you are the one speaking. As long as it is the word of God and they hear it, they run to carry out the word of God. And so when you take up the word of God and begin to pray the word of God and begin to issue commandments, angels swing into action to carry them out immediately. And I want your hands to be prepared because difficult problems in your life are going to be resolved today. 
I have discovered that when God wants to deal with difficult problems, a lot of times he sent angels to go and handle them, specific warrior angels, angels armed to the teeth to carry out the commandments of the Lord. And angels are so fast and so powerful in carrying out commandments that the Bible had to issue a warning. And what was the warning? The Bible says, say not before the angel. It is a mistake. That is, whatever you want to say, make sure you are sure that the angel that you want the angels to carry it out. Because if you say it, you cannot withdraw it. As soon as you say it, they are going to carry it out. So the Bible had to give a warning in advance. Don't say before the angel it is a mistake. Because as soon as you are saying it, they don't know whether it's a mistake or not. If you say it, they are going to carry it out. I remember Paul speaking to that man that was resisting the gospel that Paul was preaching uh, to that one of those uh, key leaders at the time. And uh, this man was diabolically resisting the message. And Paul turned and said to him, you will be blind for a season. As soon as Paul said that, the angel struck him with blindness. And so if Paul was like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean it. There was no room to say I didn't mean it. As soon as he spoke it under the unction of God, it was instantaneously carried out by the angel of the Lord. I am praying for you today that as you speak by the inspiration of the Lord, as we pray today, angels will instantaneously carry out what we say. It shall come to pass that before the service is over, some of you will receive phone calls already. Telling you that the things you decreed have been carried out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Verse 21 says, Bless ye the Lord, all his hosts. The hosts refer to the warriors of the Lord. Bless ye the Lord, all his hosts. Ye ministers of his that do his pleasure so these angels what do they do they do the pleasure of god verse 22 bless the lord all his works in all places of his dominion bless the lord oh my soul so god has dominion in all places and the Bible says, bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. The angels are part of the works of the Lord. And God sends them on assignment in all places of his dominion. And in all those places, they carry out the assignments and they bless the Lord. They sound the praise of the Lord in all of those places. Very shortly, we're going to be rising up to engage the ministry of angels. And I will tell you this story from the Bible so you can understand the significance of uh, the role of angels in helping you in battles. There's a story in the book of Joshua chapter 5 from verse 13. Joshua and the children of Israel had arrived at the point where they were to take over the promised land but they had a challenge there was a city standing before them the city of Jericho and Jericho was a city that nobody could overcome Jericho was a problem that nobody could solve several kings had tried but nobody could bring down jericho the walls of jericho were so massive so wide so high that historians who excavated uh the the site of uh the city of jericho said that the walls of jericho were so wide that about 12 horses could ride on the wall side by side that means the wall was wider than every other kind of wall that existed at the time it was that 
wide and high. So practically nobody could penetrate the city of Jericho. And while Joshua was scouting around, trying to form a war strategy, studying the walls to see exactly how they can penetrate into Jericho, he suddenly ran into a man standing and the man had a sword drawn in his hand. And Joshua confronted the man and said unto him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? Now, I need you to understand Joshua at this point. Joshua had been waiting for to cross over into the land of Canaan for like 40 years. From when they came from the land of Egypt. So Joshua was not ready to take any nonsense from any man standing against them from penetrating the land of Jericho. He was a warrior par excellence. And so as soon as he saw the man with a drawn sword, I believe he must have drawn his own sword also. And said, hey you there, who goes there? Are you for us or against us? Because I am ready to kill you now if you are against us. He was a fearless warrior. You remember when they were sent to go and spy the land. Ten of the spies came back and said we cannot enter because there are giants there. The giants are so big we were like grasshopper before their eyes. But Joshua and Caleb said let's go right now. Let's go and take over the land. They were not afraid of giants. And so he wasn't afraid of this man. He said to him hey. Are you for us or against us? So that I will know what to do with you. And the man answered. And said no. But as the captain of the hosts of the Lord. I am now come. Hallelujah. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth. And did worship. And said unto him. What saith my Lord? unto his servant and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua loose thy shoe from off thy feet for the place whereon thou standest is holy and joshua did so hallelujah so who is this captain of the host of the lord that appeared to joshua it was actually Jesus himself in his uh, what they call theophany or Christophany that is his appearances in the Old Testament it was Jesus that appeared and he is the captain of the host of the armies of the Lord and in essence Jesus was saying to Joshua you are not the ones that will pull down this wall we are the ones i have come with the angelic warriors we are the ones that will pull down this wall all that you need to do is carry out what i tell you to do pray shout sing proclaim what i say we will take up the battle and we will tear down the walls for you to enter and defeat the enemy and the the captain of the host went ahead and gave joshua commandments and when Joshua carried out those commandments, the wall of Jericho, you know that song that says, The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. As the people of God were praising the Lord, the wall of Jericho fell down Come on, clap. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. As the people of God were praising the Lord, the wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. At the people of God were praising the Lord, the wall of Jericho fell. Come on, sing it now. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The 
As you are singing it, your own wall is falling down flat. The children of God were praising the Lord. The Lord of Jericho fell. Sing the wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. As the children of God were praising the Lord. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down flat. The wall of Jericho fell down As the children of God were praising the Lord The wall of Jericho fell down flat Sing the wall of Jericho fell down flat The wall of Jericho fell down flat As the people of God were praising the Lord The wall of Jericho fell down Tearing down walls. I beheld warrior angels tearing down walls. Every wall of hindrance against your life are coming down now. Every wall of opposition to your possessing your inheritance, they are coming down now. In the name of Jesus. We are going to be shouting seven times. Let the trumpets, all the sound instruments be ready. 
The captain of the host told Joshua, you are going to go around the city seven times. And on the seventh day, you will shout and praise the Lord. And that shout was to activate the ministry of the warrior angels to go ahead, tear down the wall and make room for Joshua and the soldiers to defeat the enemies in the land of Jericho. So we are going to shout hallelujah when I say praise the Lord. We will shout it. I will give enough time to sound the trumpet and shout it. And then I will say praise the Lord again till the seventh time. And I am announcing to you in advance that there is no mountain that will remain. There is no opposition that will remain. All the long-standing problems in your family will be defeated generational curses familiar forces every wicked thing that has been prevailing in your life and family will come to an end and as you shout this hallelujah everything you need to be established in your life will be established whatever good thing the enemy has been hindering like the prince of Persia, i decree and declare they will now come true to you are you ready to shout hallelujah? Praise the Lord! Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
Masia and appreciate God listen the matter that would have taken you a long time to deal with has just been dealt with this is a strategic moment that has settled things that would have taken you a very very long time to battle against can you give him the thanks give him the praise Give him the thanks. Give him the praise. Now, yeah, let's sing that song. Hi, Abadaha. It's the sound of victory. before we even started please have your seat in the presence of God let me tell you some of the things that happened while we were shouting hallelujah because we have won already so we are not going to pray again I will tell you things that happened and I will tell you things that happened when angels engaged and then we are going to get up and shout the final one again and we will wrap it all up hallelujah I am going as the spirit is leading because we have prevailed. We have prevailed. As we were shouting, there were mountains that were being uprooted from the roots. And these celebrate, celebrate, go ahead. These mountains represented intractable problems. I'm trying to find the right word. Difficult and impossible problems in the lives of people. I saw them being pulled out like when a tree is uprooted from the ground. And then there was so much commotion because it was like when a tsunami happens, houses thrown down 
trees uprooted things turned upside down as we were shouting these are the things that were happening in the camp of your enemies these were the things that were happening in your foundation where anything had gone wrong against you so you are going to leave this service today and find out that things have changed completely and after this service you will find out that places you could not enter before you can enter now i i saw gates that were being thrown open and i saw people entering in rejoicing rejoicing i saw people entering in and even the angels were rejoicing with the people oh father we thank you thank you thank you thank you for victory thank you captain of the host of the army of the lord thank you for helping us in this battle thank you for giving us victory on every side blessed be god who causes us to triumph always making manifest the savour is of his presence by us in every place hallelujah so in preparation for when we will shout the next shout in end of service i want you to write anything that is that seems like a mountain to you that's a problem just write it and hold it because when we will be shouting you'll be lifting it up you'll be lifting it up while you are doing that i will tell you some things about angels you know the angels like it when you talk about the things they accomplished for the lord now there's a story in uh, in Genesis chapter 19 verse 1 from verse 1 it says and there came two angels to Sodom at even and Lot sat at the gate of Sodom and Lot seeing them rose up to meet them and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground verse 13 hear what the angel said for we will destroy this place because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the lord and the lord has sent us to destroy it and when the morning arose then the angels hastened Lot, saying arise take thy wife and thy two daughters which are here lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city hallelujah so these are angels these ones were angels of judgment and angels of destruction and they were so sure of what they were about to do pastor abraham please come they were so sure of what they were about to do that they told lot you must live here now you must depart right now if you don't depart you are going to be consumed with the iniquity of the city it was not a case of maybe it will work maybe it will not work they were so sure that they dragged lot his wife and his daughters drag them out of the place because when angels take up a matter there is no turning back except god intervenes and tells them to stop they drag saul um, uh, uh, they drag lot and his family out and judgment fell on that city sodom and gomorrah was so they were so consumed with fire from heaven that even to plant in that place till today is a problem because of the judgment that came by the ministry of angels so i'm declaring that in the name of jesus these angels of judgment and destruction they will swing into action on your behalf they have done some already and when we shout again they will do the final work and they will finish off all your adversaries in the name of the lord jesus another story about the ministry of angels is in daniel chapter 6 verse 22 it says my god has sent his angel and had shut the mouth 
of the lions so that they have not hurt me for as much as before him innocence was found in me and also before the O king have I done no hurt so one other thing that the angels have done and are doing for you is that they are going to be shutting the mouth of your all your enemies that have been wagging their tongues against you they are going to shut the mouth of the lions they are going to shut the mouth of the false accusers the bible calls the enemy the accuser of the brethren the one accusing you on earth the one accusing you before God in heaven. God is going to send the ministry of his special angels and they are going to shut the mouth of your adversaries permanently. The mouth of everyone that has been speaking curses, enchantments, and divinations, negative things against your life, against your fine family, against your finances. As the angels swing into action, their mouths will be shut. Can I hear your loudest amen? The third incident that I have here is that of Exodus chapter 23 from verse 20. It says, Behold, I send my angel before thee to keep thee in the way and to bring thee in the place which, into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions. For my name is in him. But if thou shalt indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be an enemy unto thine enemies and an adversary unto thy adversaries. For my angel shall go before thee. Say amen to that my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into the land of the amorites and the hittites and the Perizzites and the canaanites the hivites the jebusites and i will cut them off hallelujah so this category of angels are the ones that go ahead of you to clear the way for you they cut off all the enemies, all the warriors, all those hindrances in the way that resist you from getting to where and what God has prepared for you. God said to them in verse 20, this angel, what he will do is that he will be with you, go ahead of you, keep you, and bring you to the place I have prepared for you. There are so many of us here, God has prepared the thing, he has prepared the place. But the problem is that they are not allowing you to get to the place. They are not allowing you to get to the team. But as we'll be shouting and praising the Lord after now, every obstacle in the way will be cleared away. Angels will take away all the roadblocks and uh, uh, all the things, the warriors and the champions that stand in the way and prevent you from coming into your inheritance. These angels will clear them out of your way. And you will enter into your inheritance. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Number four are the ones that I call the chasing and destruction angels. Chasing and destruction angels. These ones are chasers. They chase after your enemy. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 35 from verse 5. He says, and let the angel of the Lord chase him. Hallelujah. I want you to say the angel of the Lord is chasing them. And let the angel of the Lord chase him. And let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Let the destruction come from upon him unexpectedly. So this category of angels, they specialize in chasing after enemies and adversaries who are trying to escape. And so the Bible says, chase them, pursue them, and destroy them. I'm declaring these angels will swing into action on, your, on the behalf of your family. 
Every enemy that is good at running away, these angels will chase them and catch up with them. I said these angels will catch up with them. These angels will destroy them. Everyone that has been playing games with your family, manipulating, causing evil and escaping, this time around they will not escape. He that escaped the sword of Jehu will not escape the sword of Hazel. He that escaped the sword of Hazel will not escape the sword of Elisha. These angels are angels that will so run that there will be no enemy that will escape. Whoever they are, whatever powers they depend upon to do the things they have been doing in your life and your family, an end has come to them today. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And then there are those that I call the killer angels. The killer angels. You see that in 2 Kings chapter 19 verse 35. And it came to pass on a certain night, just one night, that the angel of the Lord went out and killed in the camp of the Assyrians 185,000. 185,000. And when the people arose early in the morning, there were the corpses all dead. Hallelujah. This is interesting. One angel killed how many people? 185,000. Not just 185. 185,000 were killed by one angel in one night. Let's say the angel started to kill around, let's say, maybe 10 p.m., between 10 p.m. and the 6 a.m. in the morning. Are there mathematicians in the house? How many minutes or seconds per one person killed? Do we have statisticians or mathematicians in the house? How many seconds did it take the angel to kill one? He killed 185,000 between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. Let's see those that went to, uh, that did those mathematics in school. I'll wait for you. Mendres, the Sagred Ogosai. Hallelujah. Some of us did not do mathematics. Don't even bother about us. We can't give you the answer. Six people per second. If she's correct, I'm assuming she's correct. Because somebody might come up with something else now. If she's correct, that means one angel is capable of killing six people per second. Per second. So that means per minute. How many people? Let's do some mathematics today. A minute, how many people? Receive grace to understand mathematics. 360 people per minute. Hallelujah. How many per hour? That's assuming she is correct, right? Per hour, how many people? 21,600 per hour. It's like there's an Elon Musk somewhere here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, this is just to give you an idea of how powerful these angels are. Just one, not many angels. One angel just sneaked into the camp at night. And by the time they woke up in the morning, there were over 185,000 dead soldiers among them. The ones that managed to survive, they took to their heels and ran away. They knew that it, had, it was a supernatural force that intervene in their midst. I am announcing that as these angels will swing into action on your behalf, there will be dead bodies in the camp of your enemies. And the war they have instituted against you will automatically come to an end. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ the next category of angels are the ones I call the strikers the strikers in Acts chapter 12 from verse 21 a man called Herod was posted arrayed in the royal apparel sat on his throne and made an oration unto the people and the people shouted and said it is the voice of God it is not the voice of a man and the Bible says immediately the angel of the Lord smote him the angel of the Lord struck him because he gave not the glory to God and he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost praise the name of the Lord this was the same Herod that had taken uh, James and beheaded him this was the same Herod that wanted to kill Peter. He was an enemy of the church. And when he boasted against the Lord, the Bible says an, an angel of the Lord struck him. He was healthy and strong. He thought he would never die. But when the angel intervened, I am praying for you that those enemies that behave as if they are in charge of the world, as if they will never die, as if they will always control your life, People will wake up to find out that the angel of the Lord has stricken them down. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, there are the categories of angels that specializes in cutting off the strength of your enemies. The strength of your enemies, what, what they depend upon to be able to deal with you. In Second Chronicles chapter 32 from verse 20, it says, And for this cause, Hezekiah the king and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos prayed and cried to heaven. And the Lord sent an angel which cut off all the mighty men of valor and the leaders and the captains in the camp and the captains in the camp of the enemies hallelujah so you, you see what these angels did they didn't go after all the recruits all those uh, new new soldiers that are still learning how to tie their belts they went after all the captains all the heads all the people that mattered they went after each and every one of those ones. And what did they do? They cut them down. So by the morning time, when the king woke up to go and fight against the children of Israel, he realized that all those he depended upon were cut off. Hallelujah. I am praying for you. All those powers that your enemy depend upon, whether the powers from the water, from the forest, uh, from the heavenlies, wherever their source of strength is, uh, the angel of the Lord is going and cutting them off. I said the angel of the Lord is cutting them off. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whichever native doctor they are depending upon to do what they are doing against you, this angel of the Lord will cut off the native doctor. Whatever malam they are depending upon uh, to perpetrate these evils against you, this angel of the Lord will cut off the malam. Whatever occultic power, whatever sacrifice uh, they are depending upon uh, to operate against you, uh, I see this mighty angel of the Lord uh, cutting every one of them down. In the name of Jesus, uh, any altar in any place that they depend upon uh, to operate against you, attack you, hold you bound, uh, afflict you, torment you, uh, I see the angel of the Lord cutting down the altar. I say cut down the altar. I say cut down the altar. When David cut down Goliath, the Philistines were defeated. 
because Goliath was the source of their strength. I declare that every Goliath that is the source of the strength of your enemies, every strong man, every strong woman that is the source of the strength of those that boast against you and fight against you, may this angel that operated in Second Chronicles chapter 32, may this angel swing into action and cut down the Goliath and cut down the strong man and cut down the strong woman in the name of Jesus hallelujah we are going to be shouting now and releasing the angels to finish off what they have started hallelujah rise upon your feet let's sing this song first what a mighty God we serve Heaven and earth adore him. Angels bow before him. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah, choir. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Let the trumpeters and the saxophone be ready. Hallelujah, heaven and earth adore Angels bow before Him. Where is the trumpet? What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. shout this victorious shout as you are shouting you are waving the prayer request in your hand every mountain will be removed every curse will be taken out of the way the troubles in your life will come to an end the good things you desire will be handed over to you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God is Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even when you're back before him. What a mighty God. One more time, one more time. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Are we ready? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord.
If you have been blessed by this ministration, follow Apostle John Udo on Facebook at Apostle John Udo. To follow on YouTube, type John Udo Ministries. If you need prayer, counseling, deliverance or follow-up, call plus 234-806-036-1421 plus 234-806-036-1421. And remember, all things are possible.